And then what you do, now I already wrapped the skin in here this morning to get it soft. But you take this skin, you see that? You would take the skin and put it in, in here. Then when you finish this soap for at least three to four days, if it's hard, if it's fresh, you only give it overnight with good lime in it. Overnight. Mm -hmm. Overnight. Overnight. And then what you do? Now. It's ready? Luckily, when I told one of my boys to clean the skin a couple weeks ago, he left this one on the side for many days. But he didn't know I already cut him for that. All right? I cut him for that. You cut him. You talk his face. Yes, ma'am. I cut him for that. Yes, ma'am. And I didn't tell him why yes, I cut sir. him. Yes, Now, the day he with me, and he know why he getting cut. All right? Because I tell him to clean the skin. Each skin, what I just tell you, I buy every skin. And it I didn't pick, you. It didn't pick them up, so I cut him. You didn't pick them up? No. And I'm glad he with me today. Now you know you wouldn't leave one more out of the water. I can tell you. Now, since this was already soaked before, this here would be easy to come off. It would. Now, so what you do? The lime See? and the add water. You need the lime, and now it's easy to look. Look, watch now. And it all has to be done manually. Manually. You, you do that. Do you think they could find anything to improve that? Yes, we do have. Well, we do have a. We do have something. Now, if this skin was soaked for four or five days, I get a piece of wood and I push it against the green, and it comes, and it comes right, right, off. right off. Okay. And at the end of the day. When we finish doing that, it looks like it that. Looks like Look here, when we have a great day, that will change to that. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. In Jamaica, they eat the skin. What do we need the skin? Manish water, skin on the goat head. The goat foot, skin on the goat foot. They eat that. The cow skin, they eat that. They eat it. That's why they're so strong. Uh -huh. What we throw away and take for granted, uh -huh. they eat. Uh -huh. It's good food. This is good food. This is good food. I had some already. Now, <laughs> now stop talking. Yes, to mom, me. I had it. I had it already, and I'll eat it again, and I'll eat it over and over. That's why I'm stronger than the average Bahamian person around here. All right. So now we take this, we take this, and we go now, back over here. Can I ask, Mr. Quinton? Uh, I mean, what do you eat it with? It's I mean, a soup. Like a soup. Like a, like a sauce. A soup. They got me chicken no. foot. We yeah. eat chicken foot. No. They eat goat they foot. Or eat goat feet. <laughs> they eat the chicken foot. They eat the goat foot. That's why lightning, if you see him both, is run past us. But when my athletes come home, I tell them, come visit me. Give come them visit some, some bread fruit. Bread fruit. I and some manish water. water. <laughs> Alright, let's go in the street. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Oh, um, let's get, let's run, the, let's run the compress for two seconds. Hey, we're not gonna have you go. We're gonna go so through the motion. Yes, ma'am. One goat could only make one one drop. No, ma'am. Now this here. That was a bit video. This could make this could make two of these. That's why I sell them reason that was. Yeah. I sell a drum for thirty five dollars, but I can give you a drum rate for twenty dollars. Okay. Just to keep our culture alive. So how much you buy the? How much you get a skin for? This here. Skin. I got. I, I tell them. I buy all the skin. Some people try to charge me twenty dollars, but I say no. If I buy all the skin, I only buy it for ten. That's, That's right. Ten dollars. Because what I want to do with all of this, I shown you. I even sell this drum for twenty dollars just to keep our culture alive. All right. But this is a lot of work. Tons of work. This drum supposed to value you at least about sixty-five, seventy dollars. I believe you. But just to keep our culture alive, uh -huh. and like I show you, you see my own two. No, no, leave that, leave that. We're going for that. Yeah, we're going for that. You see my own two boys is way in the back here when they're over there. Because they know where I was going. Because I say, let's go next. Yes. Now, they can't run away from this one. No. Because they got to touch the goat skin. They got to touch it. Now, is that still smelly? No, this is not smelly. That's not smelly anymore. You give me a piece of sandwich right now, I can eat a piece of sandwich still. Just like this. I need a sandwich. So, anybody have a sandwich lunch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of this. I eat, I eat a lot of this. I guarantee you, I have a lot of this here in my system. That's all I do. Is, I do. I do this. Father, I'm so talking to you. Yes, ma'am. We make this in the night. So you know, you wake in late in the night. Now watch this. My boys will come from work. From work to work. When they knock off, right. they can make fifty dollars a night making drums. For three, four hours, they come and hang with me. Okay. I got a fellow named Rudy Cooper. He's been with me for many, many years. Okay. He will make. He will make. 
he will make good money off drums. Okay. All right, because I can't do everything, and that's why I'm teaching them right now. But the little drums we sell to the church right now, I want them to sell it, to make it, and produce it, and we get the market. And this is what it all is. All right, now, let's do, let's do this so we can get the way. Now, what we will do, we will put that over there. Compressor. This here, compressor. Why we use compressor? Yeah, that's what we have plenty drums to make. So we don't, run, we don't use nail no more. For the little guns, we use compressor. Now, for the big drum like this, be careful, don't get cut. For yeah. the big drum like this, we use nail gun. Nail gun. This is a nail gun. This thing has a nail gun? This, this one the nail gun here. Oh, that's a nail gun. Dude. So when we be, when we make in the big cow skin drums, uh -huh. We use the nail gun. And uh, what we do, we do the same process. We go through the same thing with the wood. Now, what we will do, we will normally put a plywood around this. Let's step right here for a second. Let's, let's run this straight down. We put the plywood around here. See ya? Put the screws in. Mm -hmm. And we cut that open the same way. Then we come down here. This here will be cut open. Mm -hmm. And where is the tin? Voila. All right. <laughs> that's that's good in your that's hand. Right. You have some kind of machinery you're cutting this with, you know? Chipping this out. Yeah, but the blade normally breaks and wakes our time. Now, this is a cow skin. That, that could be redeemed? This, yeah. This, it's already this, so hard. Right. What, what this comes, this comes from the United States of America like this. Hard, huh? A big sheet. So all we have to do, we don't have to put it in that lime. All we have to do is put it in fresh water. And it gets soft. It gets soft. When we put it in fresh water, and if we can put this right over. Now you see this here comes to rehead. Okay. So we have to make this. Yeah. Um, oh, we have to do that over. So when we put that in fresh water. Like this. What causes the fire. Too so much fire. Too much fire. So much fire. Alright, so too much fire with voice the cow skin and help me making more money. And I teach them, I say don't put your drum on too much fire. It's a cow skin. Okay. Cow skin, I'm gonna show you we don't need no fire. I'm gonna show you that in two seconds. Now when we done soak this, we put this over here. This would be soft like that. Now it's the right side, the wrong side. Now this here's the wrong side. That is the right side. Now this would be soft like that skin there. Okay? Just soak it in water. Just soak it in water. But uh, we don't have enough strength in our hand to pull this. So what we do, we gotta come along. So we take this come along, we will put holes in the skin, and then pull down. And the come along will stretch the skin. And when we finish that, we take the nail gun, we take the nail gun and we will shoot right into the right into the right into the you pop it down. Yes ma'am. Now you need a couple of us to hold that. One person, one person normally can't do this. But like I say, Mr. Rudy Cooper. He can master that. Um, Rinaldo, what side? They can make these drums by themselves. By themselves. By themselves because they've been doing it for many, many years. Okay, now, at the end of the drum, at the end of the day, after all of that is done, let me show you why you don't need no fire. Watch this. The drum is completed. It's already head. Skin is already dry. See that sun there? Because they think the harder it is, the better it sounds. No, it's a bass drum. All right. Bass drum. Now, and while we are drumming, let me show you. When this, when this is no more good, what we take, we take this, cut this down, and make a smaller drum. So you're gonna, they're gonna introduce you to Rasa in a couple of minutes. What is this? You know what this is? This is one of these. Right. Now it's no more good. Uh -huh. So instead of throwing it away to the dump, right. what we do? No. We cut it, small. pull it in, weld it, and make a tom-tom. Same, same 
same Now this Tom Tom skin, this is synthetic skin from the Tom set. All right, so we make a Tom Tom. I'll show you how Rasta do it. Do that in a minute. Rasta is the welder in the yard. So, so he will make the. Music come right from here. And when bunch of music, white you see how they make it. All you right, see? bunch of that for us. That's how they make it. Now, after all that I said, none. You see, you don't want any. 